Hi everyone! Today will be a kind of sad topic for me and I will smile just because I love to see you. And uh, I will tell you the truth. And today we will speak about most uh, thankless and not paid uh, jobs in Russia and this is the teachers. Okay, hello! <laughs> I'm Anastasia, Russian teacher. And I want to tell you why I'm not working in the school, even if I have education that I can use to work in Russian school and why I decided not to do this. When I just finished uh, my university, I had an idea to go to work to school. I even chose the school, but uh, you know, I was not a trip from Europe and uh, at one moment I think, no, I will not do this. Okay, I will not have a job this time, but I will better find something else. In Russia, we say that teacher, this is not a job. This is like your calling. And it means that it's very embarrassing to speak about money if you are a teacher. And if you say that you are a teacher in Russia, you will get a lot of words of regret and admiration. In Russia, to be honest, it's better to be anyone else except of teacher. Yes, this uh, job is like calling, as I say. And today I want to tell you why uh, actually people don't want to work as teachers, especially young uh, people like me, why we don't go to school or why teachers uh, leave this job. And there are some reasons for that. And of course, first reason, the uh, topic of money. This is not a stereotype that teachers have really low salaries in Russia. Even if uh, to be a teacher, you need to get a good education, you need to be a teacher or maybe like I have a education of philologist. I studied for six years. When you study a lot, when you do a lot uh, for your job, of course, you wanna see results and you wanna uh, get uh, good money, good salary. Well, sometimes teachers uh, have uh, not bad salaries, but you need to work like, I don't know, 50 hours in a week uh, just uh, to get normal money. But let's say that in general, the salary of Russian teachers is around uh, 30, 40, maybe 50 uh, thousand troubles. And this is around three, five hundred dollars in a month. If we speak now about this currency or dollar, it depends on the region where you live in uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg, or maybe uh, in the north of Russia, people get uh, normal money better than anywhere else. But in general, they really have low salaries. And if you work just like, uh, I don't know, 18 hours, like a normal person should work, uh, I mean, in a week, you will uh, have low salary anyway. For me, that's impossible to imagine how people work with children for many hours, like six classes, seven classes after that, some classes after the main course. You need to check uh, homework, you need to do a lot, a lot of uh, things. And this is such a difficult job. <laughs> impossibly difficult job because when you work with people especially when you see a lot of people in just one day uh, you feel uh, yourself just so frustrated if you work with people you will understand what I mean especially with children oh my gosh <laughs> there is a program according that uh, if you're a young teacher after university and you just start your career in Russian school you get a 300,000 troubles and uh, this is like uh, three thousand dollars now if we speak uh, that dollar is like one dollar is 100 and this is not a big money actually and you need to work uh, three years for this money that they didn't take it back. But for me, 
that's not understandable because that's really not big as big money like uh, that you worked in this place for three years i cannot say this is a large amount because prices become higher and higher every year and uh, this is just nothing you cannot buy apartment you cannot buy a car you cannot buy anything for this i think this is not like a very good motivation to be honest second moment uh, lack of resources you know russian schools not always are modern and have all techniques to have interesting classes like uh, technologies books uh, sometimes we have not enough and you need to buy it for your own money or i don't know wait for a long time that school uh, would give it to you in your class and this is also very sad because uh, I understand as a teacher you want to make your classes more interesting and uh, sometimes you can because you just don't have these opportunities. Large size classes and you know in every class you have around 30 students it's uh, very complicated to pay attention to every student i can imagine because i work only individually and i can give all my attention to every student i have and when you see 30 children around you you need just 20 minutes to make them quiet and uh, also you cannot check all the time like how everyone uh, is doing you cannot control every student because you that's just impossible next reason bureaucratic challenges you know most of the time after the classes teachers work on the documents i cannot understand for what uh, like a teacher, so we need to have more time just for creativity, uh, preparing classes, preparing lessons, checking homeworks, doing something interesting for students, not just preparing documents, you know, that's so irritating. Teachers always are creative people who want to make their job more interesting and when you just have a lot of documentary, that's impossible to be always uh, happy, smiling, and just do your work well because you pay too much attention to the things that I think it's not necessary because no one will follow these plans that you prepare or no one need these documents actually why they do this I don't know this is why I really love to work uh, online and individually because I have a lot of opportunities to prepare interesting classes online it's much easier to do this and i don't need to prepare any documents after my work and the last one lack of professional development opportunities it's very hard because you know okay first year second year you prepare materials uh, interesting classes but then year after year you just repeat the same things anyway you just teach same uh, things and for some people, especially people who are more interested in career, in uh, professional growth, you just feel this stagnation and uh, you feel like you're stopped. And if you have ambitious, for you, school will be very complicated and every year it turns on like a routine. So I can say that a uh, teacher is very creative and unusual job in any country, but my opinion very complicated not well paid and uh, you need just to give all your resources for this uh. also we have jokes like if you work a teacher you don't have time to create family other things hobbies friends you just live in school you know and school this is like your new family already guys write in comments how is the situation with the teachers in your country uh, what about the salaries uh, what about uh, like uh, how much uh, they work how much hours in a week they work it will be very interesting to discuss how is the situation there but my opinion that teachers that's uh, one of the main uh, jobs one of the main uh, people in uh, our lives uh, especially if we speak about teachers who work with children who make us like people i will be happy to hear your stories also all the links about instagram telegram my classes will be in description to this video bye bye